my snoodly salamanders. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna do just like a really quick get ready with me because I'm getting ready. And I was like, hey, why don't we hang out while I do that? I'm gonna do the look that I was wearing in my Kickstarter video and like the last couple of videos that I did that a lot of you guys asked about because it's pretty and you liked it and I'm putting it on my face now. So it was just like all the stars aligned for me to show you how to do it right now. My skin is pretty dry right now. I already put on facial oil a little bit ago. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, which unpopular opinion, I don't really like Embryolisse Moisturizer, which is one that a ton of makeup artists use and talk about on the interwebs. I understand why people like it. It does prime the face well for makeup, but when I use it, it burns my face and I have really sensitive skin. And so I'm like, if it burns my face, then I don't really want to put it on anyone's face. Just spray a little bit of a floral mist. And now what's this? <laughs> the palette by Salt New York, my Kickstarter campaign that is already over 50% funded thanks to you guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to just use the mirror from it to apply my foundation. I'm using my Face Atelier Pro Foundation and a Beauty Blender, and I'm just gonna put that on my face. By the way, I'm gonna be doing an Instagram Live Q&A in the next few days. I'll let you know when I have the actual time and date figured out. You guys have been sending me awesome questions so far on Instagram and Twitter, but I wanted to put it out there to you guys. What do you wanna know? Because like I just said, <laughs> It's going to be live. I'm gonna like glance at the questions in advance, but I'm not really gonna prepare answers. So it's going to be quite candid. I'm really excited actually. I had so much fun doing that Reddit AMA and this is gonna be like, you can actually see my face while I spontaneously answer your questions. So it's gonna be really, really fun. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to know? Ask me anything. Okay, now I'm gonna conceal my under eyes using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I wanted to make a note about under eye concealer real quick. If you've watched any of my other videos, then you probably know that I have really loved the Maybelline Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer, and I have decided to stop using it. And I wasn't gonna like really make a comment about that. I was just going to do it. Um, the reason is that I am no longer going to be using complexion products and products in general that don't have a complete range for all skin tones. And um, I didn't feel like I needed to make a big deal out of it or say anything because it's not like, I didn't want to seem like I was trying to get brownie points for just doing something like normal and decent that's more like just embarrassing that I wasn't doing it sooner. Um, but then I realized that because I said so many good things about that product, I just wanted to clarify and kind of clear the air that I just, I don't really want to support um, brands or lines that aren't doing that. And yeah, so I'm going to be sticking to products that are not that one. I like the Urban Decay Naked Concealer just as much. I just, you know, I like to try to incorporate some uh, less expensive products on my channel because I do use a lot of expensive products and I know not everyone has that budget, but I just can't, I don't know, it. I can't do that anymore. It's not that I can't use drugstore products anymore, just not ones that don't have um, shades for everybody because it's stupid. Now I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and just put that where the sun hits my fizzies. Do, 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 do. Done. Use my fingers to blend that in. And I'm gonna use the Milani Luminoso blush and this little wet and wild brush that I love so much that you guys told me about, thank you. And just put that all over my cheekbones. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And now I'm gonna need some pretzels. And I'm actually gonna use the taupe color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and a little skinny brush to fill in my brows a wee bit. So I watched the first episode I've ever seen in my life of the show The Bachelor last night. <laughs> which I realize it's like season 500 of that, but I just never saw it somehow. I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm too good for reality TV because I'm really not too good for anything. It just never happened. And now my friend was like, you really should live tweet everything that you're saying right now. So I think I might like start watching it and live tweeting it because <laughs> I understand why people watch it. It was pretty fascinating. <laughs> so do you guys feel like that's a thing that I should do? Should I live tweet Bachelor episodes? Because I kind of really want to. My boy brow's in the other room and I'm not gonna go get it. So I'll put my brow gel on later. So this look that you guys have been asking about and I've been doing in my last few videos is very much all about the eyes and it's not like that hard to do really. It's really only two 
eyeshadow colors. Um, the first thing I do is I use this Wayne Goss brush, which is the number 16, it's the like kind of bigger crease brush. And then this color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, it's like the rose gold color, it's very nice. And I just take that and I apply it all over the lid. And then with my eyes open, I just kind of, I'm not, I didn't add more to the brush. I'm just sort of letting it blend and soften the edge so that when my eyes are open, it's just peeking out from the crease. And then I'm gonna take this Ray Morris number 12 brush and then this color that I love so much from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. It's the like really red brown one. And I'm going to, this is kind of where, this is like the, the meat of this look. I'm going to just go along my lower lash line on the outer bit, and then I'm going to continue up, like I'm gonna pretend like my lower lash line just keeps going up, and on the angle of the lower lash line and the corner of my nose to the corner of my eye, so just right like this, I'm gonna draw a little, a little line, and I'm gonna let that line extend out so that it's, again, just past the crease when my eyes are open. That's a less important tip, keeping your eyes open for people that don't have hooded eyes, but in general it makes sense to check your placement constantly as you're applying your eye makeup with your eyes open because you don't walk around with them closed. So it helps to see how your makeup's actually gonna look and it makes a humongous difference for people with hooded eyes. So you can see I've got my little line and that's just basically my my guideline. And then I'm gonna take this guy, my most favoritest little friend, The this is the number 20 brush which is the miniature version. And this is also amazing for people with hooded eyes and people with smaller eye lid space. And I'm gonna take that same reddish color and I'm gonna just like flesh out that little guideline a little bit. And then I'm going to blend it into my socket bone. Now in the United States, people usually talk about blending. People usually talk about in the United States, everybody knows that. People usually talk about blending into the crease. That's the, the terminology that's used. It's really not a great term. Um, I've noticed that makeup artists that I know that are from other countries usually talk about the socket. That's a much better way to put it because the crease and the socket are definitely different things. Your crease is just like the way that the skin flaps of your face are shaped and your socket is actually your bone structure. And so you actually want to be blending along the edge of your socket because your crease could be way down at your lash line, or it could be non-existent. You could not have a crease. Like there's people that have like deep set eyes that are not hooded and they don't have an actual crease in their skin. So um, yeah, just you can feel with your finger like, oh, that's where the rounded part of my skull hole <laughs> is. And that's kind of the guide you wanna follow. And so, you know, you can kind of fluctuate between opening and closing your eyes to see how it's looking, but basically, you're just going along that guideline that you made, deepening it a little bit, deepening the color and blending it, and then tapering it up along your skull hole. So what, so what we've decided is that in the United States, people call it a crease. <laughs> and outside of the United States, people call it a socket. And inside the Caitlin land, it's called a skull hole. And I'm happy with that. So just really building softly. I really love these shadows on this brush. And then a good tip just like in general for painting or makeup is I put the product on the brush or tool and I apply it to where I want it to be the most concentrated and then without adding more, I venture out so that everything has a smooth gradient. So I want it to be the darkest in the outer corner. So that's where I'm putting it. And then I'm just kind of like letting the whatever's left on the brush follow along my, my socket my skull hole. And then if you're feeling fancy and adventurous, I like to, without adding any more product again, just kind of like go a little bit further up on this angle so that it kind of gives like a this shape. It's fancy. It just helps to lift things a little more. So again, no more product, just blending what's there. I have two important questions for you guys. One, what is your favorite song right now that all you want to do is listen to it? Mine is Ultralight Beam by Kanye West featuring Chance the Rapper and other people. I cannot get it out of my head. I want to listen to it like on repeat, which I have been doing. And the other question is, what is your favorite, like newest favorite 
makeup product. <laughs> Besides the palette by Salt New York, obviously. Which you should definitely go check out on Kickstarter and purchase and show to all of your friends if you have not done so already. Okay, end of plugging time. Okay, now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier caviar stick in the color uh, Coco, which is like kind of a purpley brown, and I'm going to put that in my eye. I'm gonna put it in the waterline and do some like stuffs with it. So I'm gonna stick that down on there. That's what she said, or I guess that's what he said. And then I'm gonna take this brush again, and I'm gonna apply the caviar stick to it so that I can be more precise. And I'm gonna smudge that into the upper lash line. And I'm concentrating it more from the highest point of my upper lash line out and thickening it a little bit so that I'm lifting my eye. And then just making sure I really get down into the lashes, applying it a little bit more thinly to the inner portion of the eyeball. And then just kind of like blending it into that outer corner a little bit. Other side! Oh, legs asleep. It's super asleep. <laughs> and then I just wiped the excess off of this brush, still using it, and I'm going back into that rose gold, and I'm gonna apply that to the lower lash line on the inner half and just kind of smudge it in. Smudge, smudgy, smudgers, and that's my middle name. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now I shall curl my flashes. Put on a little CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara. Although I've been using this for a while now and I'm kind of like ready to change mascaras. I think I might go back to the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which I think is probably my holy grail. That's what kids call it, right? It's the cool terminology to use. I don't know. When I hear holy grail, I just think about Monty Python, not makeup. And every time someone says it's their holy grail product, I just picture that scene with the murderous bunny and then think about the time that my high school boyfriend peed in the same public bathroom as John Cleese. And we were like, oh my god, that's, that's how my brain works. So when someone's like, oh, it's one of my holy grail concealer, I'm like, shh, murder is funny, shh, John Cleese in a public bathroom. And then I'm like, shh, Should probably stop thinking about that, wherever that train is going. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, what concealer did they say? <laughs> I am so excited for the Instagram Q&A. Like, really, really excited. Is it weird if I like, is it possible to download it after it's done and like upload it to YouTube for in case any of you guys miss it? Although you shouldn't miss it because when I know when it's going to be, I will tell you and then you should tune in, but it's going to be really fun. I think I just went live for the first time the other day and, ah, uh, and yes, I did talk about people spreading their seed. And yes, I did make a jerk off motion because I am not used to being live and I normally edit out so very many really inappropriate comments that I make in my videos. Like I was shooting one the other day and what did I say? I said something and then I was like, I literally cannot say that. I want to say it had to do with busting a nut, which I'm a little alarmed that like the last three inappropriate comments that I just made all had to do with semen. <laughs> when you say it back to back like that, you should probably stop talking about semen. But this is why you don't want to miss a live video because you never know how much I'll talk about semen until you, until you see. Men. And I'm not just Frida Calloway it, I'm gonna wipe that up in a second. Lashes? Yeah, I think so. For the record, my favorite lashes are any little trio lashes because I don't like the way strips look or feel and uh, usually some of them are good, but for the most part, um, I would prefer to use individuals. They're just kind of time consuming and these take a third the amount of time because there's three times as many. Is that math? Stick these down on my face. There was something else I wanted to say to you guys. What was it? Was I gonna say that I love this palette and you should all go buy it on Kickstarter? No, because I already said that and I don't want to be like too annoying about it. So I put the longer length on the outer half of my abel and now I'm putting a shorter length on the inner half. You know, I'm always trying to get that lift. All right, and now I'm just gonna slap on this MAC in the shade A47 nude. All right, that feels like it's done. I hope that this was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm really liking this look lately. I didn't mention what I'm getting ready for right now. I'm actually about to film another video that I'm hoping will be pretty funny and that you guys will like, I think it's funny. So we'll see how you guys react. Anyway, um, let me know if you have questions about the look and let me know if you have questions that you want me to answer in the Instagram live because that is going to be 
a hoot. Thank you again from the actual bottom of my heart and my gut and my toes and the ocean um, for being so supportive of this launch. I can't, I mean, I've already like said it a few times, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but this has been a dream of mine forever and I'm just so overwhelmed by how supportive you guys have been. So if you haven't looked at it yet, go click the link in the description box. I'll put a link up here. Sorry that I talked about John Cleese going to the bathroom. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Kiki G Makeup. And you can also follow Salt New York, my new company at Salt New York, and subscribe to this channel. I love interacting with you guys. You give me all the warm fuzzies. And if you don't do those things and go to my Kickstarter, wow, I'm giving you guys a really long list today, but it's important because if you don't do those things, then every time you bake cookies, they're gonna come out cold and you'll never get to taste warm cookies again. That just seems super cruel, but it is what it is. Go check out the Kickstarter, follow me, subscribe, and, you know, enjoy warm cookies. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.